He is Josa, the final way to get into these colleges. When it comes to IITs, you have to crack the. There is another counseling process which you need to know. So it's the dream of every architecture aspirant in order to get into the prestigious institution in India, which are the SPAs, the School of Planning and Architecture, the NITs, the IITs, and other centrally funded technical institutions. In order to get into these prestigious institutions, you need to crack the entrance examination, which is the JE examinations. When it comes to IITs, you have to crack the JE paper 1 means examination, the advanced examination, and the AAT examination. And when it comes to SPAs, NITs and other centrally funded technical institutions, it's the JE main paper 2 only, which is a BR paper. So after you qualify these examinations, so what is the procedure in order to get into these colleges? Is there any counselling process in order to get into these colleges? Yes. You already know about one, the JOSA counselling, the Joint Seat Allocation Authorities counselling process. So what is JOSA exactly? JOSA manage and regulate the joint seat allocation for admission to 114 institutes in India which includes the IITs, the NITs, the SPAs and other centrally funded technical institutions. But when it comes to BR courses, so JOSA regulate and manage seat allocation to 3 IITs, 9 NITs, 3 SPAs, 1 IIEST and 3 other centrally funded technical institutions. In order to get into these institutions, definitely you have to go under a counselling process which is here. The first will be the JOSA counselling process which is the primary counselling process for these institutions. Is JOSA the final way to get into these colleges? No. There is another counselling process which you need to know which is the CSAB the Central Seat Allocation Board. So what's the difference between this JOSA counselling and CSAB counselling? Let's see. So the first point, why is JOSA and why is CSAB? So JOSA manage and regulate joint seat allocation to central government institutions like IITs, NITs, SPA and other centrally funded technical institutions. So then why is CSAB? JOSA have certain number of rounds of seat allocation. So even after the final round of seat allocation, there is a chance to have some vacant seat in these national institutions. So how will they fill these seats? If there is a huge number of vacant seats, even after the final round of counselling, what will they do with it? So this vacant seat after the final round of seat allocation of JOSA will be filled through the CSAB, which is the Central Seat Allocation Board. So the purpose of CSAB is to fill the vacant seat after the final round of JOSA counselling process. So the next one is the website. So both JOSA and CSAB has their own official website. For JOSA, it's josa.nic.in and for CSAB, it's csab.nic.in. For further details, you can go to their respective official website and the details of the counselling process is there. The link to these website is in the description box below. Only after the final round of JOSA counselling process, the dates of CSAB will be announced. So what are the number of rounds for these counselling process? There definitely there will be a number of rounds, number of allotment process, number of allotment stage for these counselling processes. When it comes to JOSA, there are six rounds of counselling process. And when it comes to CSAB, there is only two. So when it comes to the counselling process, the participating institutes are really important. So when it comes to JOSA, JOSA conduct admission to the BR courses of IATs and NIT plus system, which includes three IATs, nine NITs, three SPAs, one IIEST and other centrally funded technical institutions. So when it comes to CSAB, CSAB conducts the allotment only for the vacant seats in NIT plus system only. So the institution includes the NITs, the SPAs and other centrally funded technical institutions. So the next one is the criteria for participation. Through JOSA, if you want to join IITs for Bachelor of Architecture courses, you need to qualify the JE Paper 1 mains examination, then JE Advanced examination and the AAT which is the Architecture Aptitude Test. But when it comes to the NIT plus system, which is the NITs, the SPAs, the IIESTs 
and other centrally funded technical institution it is only the je main paper to examinations since csab only conduct the final allotment to the nit plus system definitely the examination you need to qualify is the je main paper 2 so we have briefly explained what is josa and what is csab and what are the major difference between these counseling process so since you are a very good aspirant of the br courses and you wish to join the prestigious institutions like iits nits spas and other centrally funded technical institution definitely you have to go through these counseling process which is the josa counseling on the first day and the csab and you have two choices and josa is not the end of the counseling process you have a further one more which is the csab so in order to know the more details regarding josa and csab do visit their website for frequent updates they they have been frequently updating different kind of notification the official website so do visit the josa official website and also the csab official website so think in store design we'll come up with more contents on josa counseling and csab counseling so do subscribe our channel and do share with among your friends so if you have more queries on josa counseling and csab counseling so do post your queries on the comment box or else call us at 8086111024